Hey, what's up, YouTubers? My name is Christian Parker, and I'm going to tell you how to build a uh, marshmallow gun. Well, to start off, you need half-inch pipes that are the size to fit a mini marshmallow. I uh, try to use Jet Puff; they're the best. Um, well, for my marshmallow gun, I'm going to tell you how we built mine. Um, cut about I don't know. Uh, about three inch tube, four inch tube, four and a half inch tube, about five and a half inch tube, uh, about seven and a fourth inches of two, uh, half inch tube, well, no, seven and one fourth inch long. And then this one, uh, cut about 12 inches and a fourth, maybe. That, that seems like a good length. And also, you're gonna need two caps, um, one curved piece, and two, three connectors. Um, to start off, uh, you're gonna have to build the long. You're gonna put your 12 and 1 fourth inch pipe, then connect it with the three connector. Then get your five and a half inch pipe, and then put it on. So it looks like that so far, and add a cap to the bottom. Now, um, you have to take your seven and a half or eight inch pipe and attach it. So it looks like this so far. Add another three piece connector. And now add your four and a half inch pipe onto the bottom. What you're trying to do um, basically is uh, you want this front side to be bigger because this side it's a lot like farther away so when you hold it it's kind of going to be like this so take your other tube or um, cap and place it on and make sure it's on tight now there's um, something you can do instead of uh, just keeping it all loose if you want it to be a permanent gun you can glue it together with super glue and then um like spray painted or something because uh, this doesn't stay together too well if you're having a battle. Like a piece may fall off every once in a while, but it stays good. And if you just want it to be like loose, kind of put like Elmer's glue or something. Um, okay, so then take two and a half inch, three inch pipe, put it on the end. So you have this. Take your bending piece, curved piece, and then it should look like this so far. So then you have one more piece left, and it's the three and one fourth inch or four inch pipe. And then you just press that right in there. So your marshmallow gun could look somewhat like this is half and this is half. So then when you attach the two, you kind of got something like this. Now this is one idea. You can just cut your pieces any way you want and build on from there. But this is kind of my favorite style of gun. So I'm going to set the camera down for a minute. Once you build your gun, put the pieces in, and then snap them really tight together. Well, not snap them, just put them in really tight together. Make sure they're all completely in. And then um, and then it'll, it should stay good. And uh, another trick I like to use, if you can't get the cap off, like, if it gets like stuck and you can't push it off, well, I can't push it off. But if you can't push it off, take another piece of tubing. Take another piece of tubing. And then you can use this tubing and then just hit it, hit this against like this. And then the cap should come off easier than trying to do something else. 
Okay, so basically that's how you have your marshmallow gun and uh, I'm going to shoot it. If they go about, um, I'm going to say 15 feet, maybe if you have a decent gun, it could go farther. It just depends on how hard you blow and what kind of marshmallows, basically. So for this marshmallow, you kind of have to squeeze it so it's kind of flattish and then place it in the top of your marshmallow gun, just like this, right up there. And then kind of push it down a little bit. You want to kind of, so you can kind of see it. And then just blow. And from right here, shooting from right here, it went over here. That's a good marshmallow gun. Thank you, I'm CB Dog 80 and have fun building your marshmallow gun.